Hi, in this video, I'm going to talk to you about the half power point and the negative 3 dB point. So how do we relate them together? Okay, so let's say I have a system. Okay, and in this system, I apply a input of 1 watt. So if I were to say that this system is going to double the power, then the output I get 2 watts. Alright, so let's look at the uh, expression for the power in terms of dB. So the expression that we have is 10 log to the base 10 P out over P in. And if I were to put in the values, I'll get 10 log to the base 10, 2 over 1, which is approximately 3 dB. Okay, so you can see that if I were to double the power, I will get approximately a gain of 3 dB. Now, let's look at it from the voltage perspective. Okay, so if I were to now look at it as a voltage signal, and I say I apply a input of 1 volts, alright, and I get, uh, and I say the same system that is actually doubling the power, but does it mean that I also double the voltage, alright? So does it mean that I get 2 volts over here? Now let's look at it. So we can, uh, we know that the uh, relationship between voltage and power is V square over R. So we can say this is the input side and this is the output side. Alright, so we can uh, simplify our expression to say that both these resistance are the same. Alright, so let's look at it over here. So if I say that in terms of volt uh, power gain, we say it is 3 dB. So 3 dB, okay, is equals to 10 log to the base 10 of P out over P in. So that will be 10 log to the base 10. Power is V out square over R over V in square over R. And since both the resistances are the same, we can simplify it to be uh, 10 log to the base 10 of V out over V in square. Okay, and that will give us an expression that 3 dB is equals to 20 log to the base 10 of V out over V in. Okay, so now if I were to substitute V in is 1 volt, so 3 dB is equals to 20 log to the base 10 of V out over 1. Okay, what I would get is I would uh, solve for V out to be equals to 1.5. 1 volts okay so this is uh, so the thinking that if I double the power I also double the voltage so that thinking is wrong okay if I double the volt, uh, power I get a gain of 3 dB all right but in terms of voltage the voltage has increased by a factor of 1.41 okay so the output voltage is 1.41 volts okay now if I were to now analyze the same uh, the same circuit but now if I were to half the power okay so let me uh, draw that now okay so the same circuit as before okay so let's uh, look at it from the power perspective first so I have input power and output power and I'm going to say that I apply 1 watt and the output power is half so 0 0.5 watt okay so in terms of the analysis I'll get 10 log to the base 10 p out over p in and that will give me 10 log to the base 10 0 0.5 over 1 okay and that will be approximately okay negative 3 db okay so if i have a system where the output power is half of the input power all right the uh, power gain is equivalent to negative 3 db Okay, so now let's analyze it from the voltage perspective. Okay, so the same thing. I have an input voltage and output voltage and I say that this is 1 volt. So how much is this output voltage over here? Okay, so from the earlier analysis, we know that if I double the power, the voltage gains by a factor of 1.41. Alright, so now if I were to half the power, what would happen? Okay, what would happen? Alright, so if I were to analyze this now, okay, uh, with the value, so we can say that uh, since we know that the power gain is negative 3 dB, so the power formula is uh, dB value is equals to 20 log to the base 10 of V out over V in. Correct? 
all right and if i substitute the values of uh, what we got what we want for the or what we have for the input so input is one volt okay what i would solve for is that v out is equals to one over root two which is uh, 0 0.707 volts all right so you can see that if i have a system all right where the output power is half the input power in terms of voltage the output is 0 0.707 of the input okay uh, and this okay you can also say that is the same as root 2 so in this case you can say that v out is root 2 of the v in okay and here you can also rewrite it as v out is v in over root 2 okay so that is basically the relationship between the output and input voltages all right when you double or half the power okay so where do we use this half power point we use it when we are drawing the frequency response curves of systems okay so for example if you are designing a bandpass filter so a bandpass filter will have a frequency response that looks something like this okay and it is defined by two frequencies which is the lower cutoff frequency fl and the higher cutoff frequency fh okay anything in between this we call it the pass band okay and anything beyond this we call it the stop band okay so in terms of gain all right okay we can say that this point here okay so this is x axis is the frequency this is basically the gain okay and we can say that uh, this point here whatever we define is to be the a naught okay the pass band gain we look at the half power point all right that means we, in terms of decibels so if this is drawn in terms of decibels we look at it as the minus 3 db away from the pass band gain so if i were to draw a line over here the point where this line touches the curve is where your gain is minus 3 db okay and from what we have seen minus 3 db okay is the same okay is the same as half power point all right the half power point of the uh, curve so that is basically where we will define the lower cutoff and uh, upper cutoff frequencies for the pass band and from there we also know the stop band of the system all right so this is where we use the uh, analysis of the half power point or the negative 3 db point okay so i hope that uh, this video has given you a good uh, insight into how we actually analyze all right and relate the minus 3 db point to be the half power point as well and also understand the relationship between the uh, voltages as well as power when we come to such analysis all right so thank you for watching bye